Rarely do any of us take the time to travel far away to meet some of our closest friends and family for the sole purpose of celebrating. What's going on? This is DJ Cut from DJ Cut Entertainment, and these are the questions you should ask your DJ before hiring them. Obviously the first question is, are you available for the date of my event? I usually get booked anywhere between a year to six months out. So it's usually important to get a contract and a retainer and that will lock me for your wedding and your ceremony. So when it comes to having backup gear, that is a must for me. I always have backup gear. You never know if a cord is gonna go bad, or your computer's gonna go bad, laptops, I want no chances. Your wedding is a one-time experience. There's no do-overs, there's no second takes. One question that I get asked a lot is, how many weddings do I do a day? I usually do one wedding a week. Sometimes I'll have two in a weekend, but never two in the same day. When I meet with my clients, my week is set aside for them. I don't do anybody else's wedding, but your wedding. I wanna make sure that I nail down all the important details. So when it comes to your wedding, that week is, is your week and your week only. I'm not gonna be preparing, working on anybody's wedding. I wanna make sure that we knock it out of the park when it comes to your wedding day, because there is no do-overs. Before hiring me, I suggest looking at all my reviews on Wedding Wire. Not only that, but on my website, I have video testimonies of past clients, and this really gives you a chance to see what other brides and clients have said about me. And then you also get to see through the video my style and how I interact with people, so that way it's not a surprise on your wedding day. One of the most overlooked parts of a wedding is not the music, but it is the emceeing to, you know, making sure that your event flows smoothly. Who's going to make sure everybody knows what's going on? Who's going to be behind the scenes, making sure all the caterers are on the same page? Very important that somebody that's very comfortable on the microphone and can give good, clear directions so nobody gets lost and, you know, no moment goes unnoticed. Everybody knows what's going on, and that's what I try to focus on. In my company, we use two different setups. We have one that is for the reception, and then we have one that's for the ceremony. They are two totally different setups and the equipment that they have in them. No matter what may come, what storms may happen, always remember the promises that you made here today and the love and the joy that resonates within. So when we can go from the ceremony to the reception, we have a smooth transition and music is automatically running as soon as the ceremony is done. So when it comes to microphones for the ceremony, so everybody can hear everything that's going on, we have a wireless mic. It can also go on a mic stand, and that's for if anybody's doing any reading, um, anybody from the crowd needs to say anything. We have the efficient. They will have a lapel mic like this, and then we'll also mic up the groom. You really only need one, but we like to include two just so we can pick up your guy, both your guys' voice evenly. The number one complaint at weddings is people in the back of the room can't hear the ceremony and what's going on. To serve the other person, love the other person, and think about what's best for them, even before we think about what's best for yourself. So once you become one of my clients, you get a client login. Select the date of your event, and then we'll give you a ceremony planning form. In this form, you select your start time, the end time, what kind of background music, the songs that you want for the bridal march, the wedding party, and the exit song. You can also indicate what microphones you need, and if you're doing a sand or candle lighting ceremony. If you're having a hard time selecting songs for your ceremony, you can go into the music database and there's a list of songs for the ceremony. So music for the ceremony, we'll usually play background music a half an hour before your guests start arriving. We'll also play the music as the family's walking up. We will play music for the wedding party as the bride walks and as you guys leave. And then we'll return to background music as everybody transitions over to the reception area for cocktail hour. To see if we're available for the date of your event, please click on the availability tab. You can also get an instant price quote. If you guys have any more questions or would like to book us, please click on the contact tab. You can also send us an email at info at djcutentertainment.com. Thank you guys for watching.